fan. Maximum fan. Dual max air fan. <laughs> What up guys? Welcome back. Glad you're here. Glad to be continuing the van build process. It's definitely been a long journey. We're still building. We're doing that. Putting in the Max fans. They're going to be great. We got two of them. We started off with just going with one. This is the original one we purchased, which it is the, it's the 7500 k Smoke Edition which it's basically just the all electric one with a remote. And this one is the cheapest one, which it's also the smoke edition, but it's just the four speed exhaust only manual opening fan. And we're gonna take and put the, the electric one with the remote back here in the back in this little hole that's perfectly 14 inches. The, the hole you have to cut in it is it's actually exactly like 13 and 13 sixteenths. You know, we got a little template cut here, and in, in which I've trying been trying to find some videos and stuff. Because there's you know, countless ones about putting a Max Air fan in, but just specifically for the uh, the long length, which is you know the medium length, medium height roof uh, Ford Transit, but. The, the square that's in the back here that's got the, the two roof runners going perpendicular with it, parallel, whatever. That hole is pretty much 14 inches, in which this is basically 14 inches. Let me grab the frame. Here is the frame. You can see it's exactly square, which is, like I said, it's 13 and 13 sixteenths, basically. Um, so if you cut it 14, it's definitely going to fit, but I want it a little bit tighter than that. So we're cutting it exact. Uh, but anyway, definitely, you know, a scary moment, but I think it'll be okay. You know, there's a lot of horror stories, everybody out there, you know, having whatever problems, this and that. But I think like anything, you take your time, measure twice, cut once and, you know, get it where you want before you want, you know, shoot it in and it'll be okay. So. Watch, continue along, and uh, we'll get hopefully something, learn some of my mistakes as we go in and cut, and I'll document as much as I can. Thanks again, guys, and hope you have a great day. All right, I think we're at a point of permanently putting a hole, two holes, in the top of this Ford Transit. The trick here, in which what I've not been able to find much information on. As we see, it's a little tight right here. That 14 inch square here, it's gotta fit here. The insides of the black lines are, is the width. But you can see I couldn't even draw it on the back side. But it just does clear in this lip so we'll see how it cuts out thankfully we're gonna practice with this one you can see it's just a regular hole that's up in the front portion all right well we're gonna put a hole there got it marked from the inside here got my stencil mark which I'm gonna take and drill the center out. So we need to put it on top and be able to locate it from there. And we can drill the corners out from the top. To make sure we get it exact. And I'm also gonna drill a little side hole here that'll help line it up too. So here we go. Which I just started with the big bit. I know you're supposed to start with a smaller bit. Uh, we went ahead and started with a bigger bit to essentially center punch our mark. Oh, 
Oh, I see light. some holes. But you can see I had kill mat up here so I wasn't planning on initially putting the second fan up front but we decided and went with it last minute here because before we put this other one in might as well go and get another one get it off eBay because the cheaper one the, the just the four speed manual opening it's, uh, I think it was 175 and to have that draft effect and be able to have the, all the windows rolled up and everything for security in case it's raining and everything uh, just to be able to you know create that vortex hopefully we'll be able to do that with this here uh, so see if we can go to the top see if we can put this up here we'll tape it down we got our marking, our marked hole, the second hole here to be able to locate again. Put that back down and run some tape on top and you get the jigsaw out. Okay, we're here on top of the van. It's not very good. Trying not to cave the dang roof in. 220 up here is a little stout. We got us a little protector board. Hopefully it does okay. It's not too creaky. So we got our locator holes here. Got it marked. I have created the outline traced onto our painter's tape. So, I'm going to take drill bit here, blow some holes in the corner, and hit it with a jigsaw. It's about jigging time. These folks know what's up.
no, es que claro. Max fan install. <laughs> well, we successfully got fan number one installed. Get the whole cut for fan number two. Figure it out on the first one. A few things to do and not. But the template worked great. Uh, the hole fit nicely. Which the, the, uh, we located the center, which we'll drill it out. Then I got this other little locator hole, essentially, drill in with it, so it'll center the template on top, so then I can tape it out and cut it. The problem here is, you probably can't see, but essentially this 14 inch square is very tight with these uh, roof beam supports, runners, whatever. So, we're going to see how it does, but it's pretty much the exact distance between this one and this one. We'll try to get the jigsaw to run right along the edge of it, but there's not enough room from the inside to cut that. So, how we're going to do it from the top, and is why I cut the front, the front one from the top, just to get the practice of doing that, because I knew that I was going to have to do this one that way. So. We'll get the hole drilled, get it sewn in. All right, we got the hole cut. Let's see how it fits. Tell them up tight. Now that's good. Looks good. And they're good. We ain't even got no lateral movement. So get the tape pulled off. And get her sealant put down. Took a little magnet, got up most of the metal shavings. Definitely want to be sure you get all of those up. I'm gonna come back with air compressor and blow off the top. Very good. Uh, wash it, triple wash it, make sure we're sealed up, but looking good so far. The trash can hole with the seafood rest. Take a crab leg down the middle of the table. Definitely want to hit it with some old rust bowling. Beetle tape, beetle, makes it beautiful. And the seal job. Old flock of seals. But, what I did on the other one, I like it so much, I'm gonna do it again. Get this, the placement of the hole is on the edge of this lip. So, run the butyl tape, butyl tape, it's on the edge of it here. See food restaurant? Yep. Oh. 
what I created here is actually a seal box. Same food table. And made these strips because you got the little valley here. You got these strips out of HDPE, basically five gallon bucket material. It was cheaper on Amazon than a sheet of PVC. I think it was like 10 bucks, but it was like 12 by 24. And it actually got 3 sixteenths, but 1 8 is perfect, which I just kind of ripped it down on the table saw. But then I'm going to take and lay it in on the sides here. Check that dude out. We got not one, but two Max Air fans installed. Liking where we're at with it. You got the whole sun difference here. Sorry about that. But everything went in good. I can see it's a little wet. Just did a kind of a water check. I installed them a couple days ago and letting the seals seal up. <laughs> But the uh, relatively easy, you know, as everyone kind of says, once you get into it, it's not too bad. Doing two definitely uh, gave me more practice, obviously. But <laughs> anyway, the, you know, other than just cutting a hole in a perfectly good van, it, it wasn't very bad. I'll get in here and show the interior view. See, had them wired together for demonstration purposes. But they fit in very nice, this front one. We got it in this front section. Can't really, can't really put nothing up here. It kind of angles and tears off. I mean, you may could, but I went with right there. And back here in the back, we got in between, you can see very tightly. We got this support beam on front and back, but if she's tight. So if you're putting one in in a medium length, whatever middle length Ford Transit, you can put a max air fan in here and fit it between these two if you cut it exactly, which it did get into it a little bit on this end. You can kind of see with the jigsaw, but it cut good, fits good. Thanks Ford for leaving that space. But this one, you may have noticed, is the higher end one with the remote and automatic opening and closing, motorized rather, with the intake and exhaust. And this one is just exhaust fan. I'll get it a battery it up give it a demo you guys ready maximum fan <laughs> automatic opening uh, oh cool breeze yeah better get some draw Y'all hey, pay no mind to me. Safe hookup deal here. This here blue painter's tape. We're good to go. It's only sketch level two. So, temporary. But, contestant number two. Let's see if we can fire it off. Look at that smooth entry. Old low motor load. She's spinning. See, and we got the manual on this cap, but it ain't nothing but a few cranks. We got it opened up. See the cool part, you can see the sunshine. We didn't know, I mean, I hadn't seen nobody comment about it, but anyway, the smoke lid covers are see-through. So that's freaking sweet. Nighttime action laying in the bed back here. 
You got the skylight. Check it out. The max air fan install went very smooth. Uh, you know, plan, prepare, and execute. We measured four, maybe six or seven times, and thankfully had to only cut once. Uh, my template that I made, I made it just shy of uh, 14 inches square at 13 and 7 eighths. And when I drew it, I cut the line and it fit like a glove. There wasn't any slop or excess for it to, you know, have any seal issues. So, one tip, I guess, if you were doing one, uh, you make your template a little bit small. This piece of HDPE is basically five gallon bucket material. Uh, cut it down, you can see, trimmed it down. It's actually 3 16 but you need an eighth. And that goes in each of those peaks in, in the little valley there for that runner, uh, and which it made it level for screwing in the frame to mount the max air fan the roof of the van being not you have to pay attention to as you're torquing it down if you create too much of a bow in the frame of the fan it's not essentially a problem for the frame because it contorts and it allows you to do that but when you bow it too much then it doesn't allow the holes to line up where the fan essentially sits down into the frame there's four only four screws that go into each side and it doesn't allow you to screw it in because it's bowed and it won't line up so you have to pay attention to uh, as you're mounting it and ready to continue the adventure and actually we'll get all the insulation put in get all that glued in you can kind of see a little bit of the floor here we got all of it put in ready and we got a lot of other stuff built and we've been going along the way you can Thanks again for following along with us on our journey. It's definitely appreciated. Will here, Wilder Jess Adventures. Van build, medium extraordinaire. Stay tuned for our next adventure. In our next video upcoming, we'll get the insulation installed. Big fan. Max Hair Band. Max Air Fan Duel Max Air Fan